Hi, everybody. Dennis Prager with Fireside Chat number, let me guess, 313. Three. Oh, I caught her. Ladies and gentlemen, to catch Megan unprepared with an answer is a victory for humanity. I'm focusing on Snoopy. She's focusing on keeping Snoopy in there. We have dogs who do not wish to be on camera. It, it's a certain humility that we have cultivated in them. They think it's a little arrogant to... Uh, what, you're throwing him food? Yes. God. The, my house is organized chaos, which is not bad because every house is either organized chaos or unorganized chaos. <laughs> so you're re all houses have chaos. <laughs> If human beings live there, there is an element of chaos. That is the way it works. So this is Fireside Chat number? 316. 316? Wow. Well, I probably say wow. I probably said wow since number 11. <laughs> this is really sad. Anyway, welcome, everybody. I'm Dennis Prager. It's the Fireside Chat. And in the United States this week, as I say that, because there are so many of you listening in different countries, and I'm really, really delighted by that. Uh, in the United States, we celebrate this week Thanksgiving. I love Thanksgiving. Just the name it alone has made me fall in love with it since I was a child. This has to be the most universal of American holidays. You, if you talk about inclusive, how could you be more inclusive than giving thanks? Thanksgiving, giving thanks. Actually, right now in America, since there is such a desire to undo American and Western civilization on the part of people calling themselves progressives, or better known as woke, it's very sad, and I won't get into that now, but even this holiday has been under attack because its origins lie with the first settlers to America, the pilgrims, having a legendary meal with Native Americans known as Indians, and people uh, on the left are unhappy that it portrays amity between the Europeans who came over and the indigenous peoples. Theoretically, there was supposed to be a hatred of the indigenous people from the outset and the idea that they actually could enjoy one another even for a meal is perhaps anathema to these uh, folks. So even Thanksgiving has come under attack. But I want to talk to you about giving thanks. I wrote a book on happiness. Wow, it's hard to believe. 25 years ago. Just a note to all of you who are much younger than I, you don't, you don't realize how speedily life goes by. It's not something that when you're young, you, you think about or realize. Although, ironically, every young person I know, I mean, people in their early 20s, has, has stated to me, or in their 20s, how fast they think this year has gone. Do you feel that? I mean... Uh, it's it's eerie to me how fast this, yeah. this year has gone. I don't think it's a matter of when you get older, the years go by faster. That I acknowledge, but this was even within that parameter. So the reason I tell you this is the more you do and the earlier you do it, the more, I mean, it's, this is a cliche. I feel silly even saying this. It's so obvious. The more you will get done. It, there's a very famous Hebrew saying, if not now, when? <laughs> it's, you know, it doesn't sound terribly profound, but it is profound. You, you think you can do it at any time because you, when you're young, and this is fine, this is not a criticism, death seems really, really remote, <laughs> as it should. Yeah, 20-year-old should not be thinking, you know, I'm going to die in 70 years or, or maybe 80 given the length of years as increasing. But 
it's it's worthy of note. I am very lucky, and I really mean it. I think I'm lucky. I don't take much credit for it, that at a very early age, I knew time was limited. So get as much done. And I was, I was not a workaholic. I'm still not a workaholic, believe it or not. And I just knew at a very early age, though, that I should start now, learning now, writing now. I wrote my first book at 25. It's still in print. It's an introduction to Judaism called The Nine Questions People Ask About Judaism. I wrote another book, by the way. My first two books were Jewish in Nature. And the second one is really relevant to today. Why the Jews, the reason for anti-Semitism. If you want to understand what is happening in the world today, read the book Why the Jews. It'll, it'll explain just about everything. Nothing has changed. So anyway, I wrote the book on happiness 25 years ago. That's a fun story. Did I ever tell the story about my happiness book, how it happened? I don't think so. Oh, you will love this. This is, this is a mind blower. So let me stop here for just one moment and remind you that the rest of the Fireside Chat is at PragerU.com. I always explain why. Because we don't trust social media not to take us down one day. Social media are not devoted to free speech. This is a, a major problem in the Western world. So we're trying to get everybody into the habit of watching the Fireside Chat from PragerU.com or at PragerU.com from the beginning. By the way, there's a PragerU app, which makes it really easy. And we hope you'll download that. But in the meantime, please go to PragerU.com for the rest of this Fireside Chat.